Question 1. Which switching technology reduces the size of a broadcast domain? By using VLAN technology we can reduces the size of broadcast domain. VLAN virtual local area network is a logical grouping or segmenting the devices under a single broadcast domain. As a result provides security and flexibility. Question 2. Which protocols are used to configure trunking on a switch? VLAN trunking protocol VTP is a Cisco proprietary protocol that propagates the definition of virtual local area networks VLAN on the whole local area network. To do this, VTP carries VLAN information to all the switches in a VTP domain. VTP advertisements can be sent over 802.1Q and ISL trunks. Question 3. What is SVI? A switched virtual interface SVI is a VLAN of switch ports represented by one interface to a routing or bridging system. There is no physical interface for the VLAN and the SVI provides the layer 3 processing for packets from all switch ports associated with the VLAN. Question 4. What is meant by router on stick? Router on a stick is a term frequently used to describe a setup up that consists of a router and switch connected using one Ethernet link configured as an 802.1Q trunk link. In this setup, the switch is configured with multiple VLANs and the router performs all routing between the different subnet VLAN. Question 5. Which are the two trunking protocols? There are two main types of encapsulation trunking protocols. First, ISL inter-switch link, which is Cisco proprietary protocol. Second, 802.1Q, which is an IAAA standard. Question 6. Which protocol encapsulates Ethernet frames? ISL encapsulates Ethernet frames while 802.1Q tags Ethernet frame. Question 7. Which is the VLAN not tagged by 802.1Q? Native VLAN. Question 8. How to delete VLAN information from switch? Delete flash VLAN DAT. Question 9. What is difference between VLAN access and trunk mode? Access mode is used to connect end devices host to switches while trunk mode is used to connect between switches. Question 10. What is difference between dynamic auto and dynamic desirable? Dynamic Desirable attempts to negotiate a trunk with the other end. Dynamic Auto forms a trunk only if requested by the other end. Question 11. What is the use of Non Negotiate command in switch? Non Negotiate command disables automatic formation of trunk links. It will be good to configure trunk manually and give Non Negotiate command for security reason. Question 12. Explain different switch port models. Trunk forms an unconditional trunk. Dynamic desirable attempts to negotiate a trunk with the far end. Dynamic auto forms a trunk only if requested by the far end. Access it will never form a trunk. Question 13. What is DTP? Dynamic trunking protocol is used to automatically establish trunks between capable ports in secure method. Question 14. What is the command used to see trunk interfaces? Show interface trunk. Show interface FA1 over 0 13 trunk. Show interface FA1 over 0 13 switch port. Show interface status include trunk. Question 15. What are frame tagging and different types of frame tagging? VLAN frame tagging is a technology which is used to identify the VLAN that the packet belongs to. The VLAN frame tag is placed on the Ethernet frame when the Ethernet frame reaches a switch from an access port, which is a member of VLAN. Question 16. What is the maximum number of VLANs permitted in 802.1Q and ISL? Maximum VLAN permitted in 802.1Q is 4094. Maximum VLAN permitted in ISL is 1000. Question 17. What is the difference between an access port and a trunk port? A trunk does add .1Q or ISL tags directly to frames and can exist on all or multiple VLANs. 
while an access port only passes traffic from a set VLAN but does not modify the frame with a VLAN tag. Question 18. What is a native VLAN and what type of traffic will go through native VLAN? The native VLAN is the only VLAN which is not tagged in a trunk, in other words, native VLAN frames are transmitted unchanged. Per default the native VLAN is VLAN 1 but you can change that. Hashtag show interface FA08 strunk. Hashtag port mode encapsulation status native VLAN. Question 19. What is inter VLAN routing? Virtual LAN VLANs divides one physical network into multiple broadcast domains. But, VLAN enabled switches cannot, by themselves, forward traffic across VLAN's boundaries. So you need to have routing between these VLANs which is called inter-VLAN routing. Question 20. Which command will configure a switch port to use the IEEE standard method of inserting versus LAN membership information into Ethernet frames? A. Switch config hash switch port trunk encapsulation ISL B. Switch config hash switch port trunk encapsulation IATF C. Switch config hash switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1Q D. Switch config IF hash switch port trunk encapsulation ISL E. Switch config if hash switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1Q